right, so uh, I guess day two in North Carolina, day three-ish of the trip. Hoping to be a little bit more successful today. It seems kind of windy again, like in the last expedition. This dog's like right in front of my car. I need to make sure I don't run him over. But anyway, um, yeah, it's still kind of cold and windy, though cooler than yesterday. I'm hoping that gets stuff up under cover and uh, gonna get after it, see what we find. In this uh, nest of brambles and whatnot, we got the first snake of the day, a big ribbon snake. Thought it was a garter at first, just because of the thickness of it in the back half, but uh, it's just a really big ribbon. I'm gonna try to get him, but I doubt I'm gonna be able to, because he already is kind of on to me, and I'm all the way over here, so. Pretty cool, regardless. Um, I'll see if I can snag him. All right, somehow I was actually able to grab that guy. It's probably just still heating up for the morning. You can tell it's a ribbon snake because you see that white kind of square right in front of the eye. That's a pretty diagnostic sign for a ribbon snake. Otherwise, it's got those really defined white cheeks. Um, very prominent striping with a, kind of like a chestnut color on the side. Now, garter snakes are super variable, so sometimes you'll find a garter that looks, you know, pretty similar to this, or even more contrasty, but ribbon snakes, at least, you know, on the east coast, more north than Florida, or the Carolinas, they have really defined striping pretty much every time. So, that's neat. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick cell phone picture of this snake and then let it go right there. All right, sending this big girl on her way. She's gonna disappear into this grass. <laughs> oh man, this guy's been hit before. Oh, maybe today. That's so sad. This is a spotted turtle. I'm gonna keep this really brief because, ugh, I, I feel bad. But this is a highly collected species and then obviously it's afflicted with road mortality as well. So I'm just gonna let that guy go on his way. Turtles are tough, maybe we'll figure it out. It looks like this guy's okay, thankfully. That was really unfortunate about that spotted turtle. I'll try to get a better look at one for you guys that's like basking on a log or something like that. But this is a uh, eastern mud turtle. He's being real shy, but what's pretty cool is they have the hinged shell, just like a box turtle. But this is about as big as they get and they spend their time down in the mud for the most part. Oh, and look at that, there's actually spotted turtles right there as I spoke of them. Sweet, let me see if I can get a little closer. They're probably gonna plop in now. So I gotta let this guy go. There's a nice spotted turtle. They seem to be all over the place today. I'm gonna let this guy go where he was headed and uh, we'll keep going. Yeesh. Freaky. Just after I turn the camera off, check this guy out. Nice copperhead. Hanging out back here. I'm gonna try to pull him out. All right, here's a little better view of this copperhead. I was able to get him out. Real pretty Hershey kisses and whatnot on this thing. And pretty textbook uh, habitat for him. I mean, at least as far as the south goes, just an abandoned structure. Didn't even really get through the rest of the stuff, but I'm hoping that I'm uh, able to flip something cool. But if, if nothing else, this is a cool find. I was able to get this guy to coil up pretty nicely out on the road. Um, figured maybe you guys can get a better look at him. Uh, and then I'm gonna bring him back to the uh, little shack in a second here. Just gonna get some pictures. All right, our copperhead friend is uh, letting himself go. He's very hard to see in the leaves, so I need to be careful of other ones as I go through this stuff. But uh, that's why I've got this hook with me here. I'm not a huge hook guy. I don't usually go around with snake hooks and whatnot, but for this occasion, it's appropriate. Got a 
That's horrifying. Gentlemen, please exit the road. There's someone's like domesticated ducks, I believe. Huh. There's a water snake in the road. Whoa. I'm gonna put him off the road. Some dogs barking at me. All right, so uh, I have explored a couple abandoned buildings and things like that. Uh, I've got like one or two more that I'm gonna check out. Uh, otherwise, I'm just cruising around and incidentally ran into that water snake that you guys saw a while ago. I run into like two or three worm snakes, but it was like a quick stop and I didn't bring my video camera and those were in the last video or I saw one in the last video, so didn't bother going back to the car for that. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys know uh, what I find as the day winds down here. Maybe something will cross the road as it starts to get kind of darker. I wish it was a king snake, but here's a racer hanging out under this big roadside board right here. I'm gonna spook him out so that I can put it back down. I think it's just a racer. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. This is kind of sweet. Let me just check and make sure there's nothing over here. But wow, stuff is... I guess up under cover. Oh, he's in shed. Look at that, inside a coffee container. I'm get him to come out. It's a pretty big rat snake in shed, unfortunately. That's cool. Well, I'm gonna put this guy back under his tent in a second here if I can manage not to get bit. Looks like he's detecting me though. All right, letting this big guy go back under the tent. I'm not sure if it's gonna to wanna to go there or not. There we go. All right, Nick can figure out the rest, but got more stuff to work through here, so hopefully I get more. Oh yeah. Just flip this nice, Beautiful king snake, unfortunately in shed, but holy smokes, that is awesome. Oh, all right, let's check this guy out. He looks big. Oh man. Look at that. Oh, such a bummer this is in shed. This would be a nice snake. Still is pretty nice, but. Dang it. Holy smokes. It's a big healthy king. Those white spots on the side are really cool too. It's awesome. Oh, I wish it were out of shed though. Pretty large king, for reference. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna let this king go. Um, unfortunately, I lost my uh, my hook in the process of this, but um, can't really find it. I'm gonna put this guy back, and then I'm guess I'm gonna go back to the car and hit some other flip sites.
a little piece of wood. We got this uh, eastern narrowmouth toad. This is not something we get to see very often being from up north, but look how tiny their faces are. I thought it was pretty cool. Really cool species, honestly. But uh, I'm gonna put them back because we've got some tin to flip. Box turtle warming up under here. In fact, I think I've got one before under here while visiting in the past. I'm gonna put him back in his cubby. And, uh, let him get back to it. All right, well, uh, at the last flip site, I didn't find anything, but I uh, ran into a friend and got caught up talking to them for a little while, so uh, got dark on us. It's pretty cold out right now. I'm just doing a pass or two cruising just to see if anything is out and about. But um, otherwise, I'm probably gonna head home and uh, wrap this video up. Um, next video, I'll be out with Kevin flipping a bunch of tin. So uh, look forward to that. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.